Well, it, it's going to be a, a big night uh, on the 23rd of, of January in, in the MLL uh, collegiate draft because I think Boston's going to be the story because they have picks now, more picks than anybody, especially in that first round. Um, so I do think it's an overhaul. I think it's a it, – but one of the beauties of this league is that things can turn around fairly quickly. I mean, we've seen teams um, – and, and Ohio is a great example of that. I mean, they were about as bad as I've seen a team in Major League Lacrosse in this past season. They really, really turned things around with a young group. So there's there's no reason why Boston couldn't do something of that ilk. And they'll still have the structure of having been a successful organization for, for so long there. But I think it all starts with the draft on the 23rd, what they're going to do. Are, are they going to use all those picks to – uh, to bring in young talent, or are they going to stockpile them to to maybe bring in another guy along with Max Seabald to instead of no one again is going to replace what Paul Rabel was in terms of uh, production and leadership and face of a franchise, but maybe they use some of these picks to bring in another second tier player like a Max Seabald, and, and by second tier I don't mean that he's no longer a top all star Team USA kind of guy, but he's not Paul Rabel, so. It, they have some flexibility in, in, in that regard. But I, I do appreciate the fact that they realize, look, what we've been doing in the draft the past few years has put us in a position now where we're staring at a, a rebuild. And they have given themselves ammunition with all the picks that they've accrued. And I also just appreciate the fact that they weren't scared. And again, I don't know the nuts and bolts of how this trade went down, whether it was Boston who wanted it, Paul who wanted it, New York who just – kept badgering them to try and get Paul Rabel. Don't know that yet, but I appreciate the fact that they realized and were able and not scared to trade away a guy who is, again, clearly still the face of professional and lacrosse in general. 